what's the effect of money and wealth on happiness? Because clearly uh, that is something that uh, people set great store by. Uh, but unfortunately, this is one of the areas, this being a new field of research, uh, which is still in a state of considerable uncertainty, and the evidence goes both ways. Uh, certainly, we know that rich people, on average, consistently tend to be happier than poor people. And we know that rich countries consistently tend to be happier than poor countries. Uh, on the other hand, Americans, there's a lot of evidence to show that Americans are no happier today than they were in 1950, even though the standard of living must have increased two or three times in real terms. Um, we have a very recent study comparing happiness among the 50 states. It comes out with some rather surprising results that among the happiest states are Louisiana, Mississippi, Alaska, Maine, uh, among the least happy states in the country, I regret to say, are uh, some of the wealthiest states, uh, Connecticut, New Jersey. Uh, New York, uh, if you ask where did New York fit, I'm afraid I would have to say they were number 50. Uh, and since there are only 50 states, uh, <laughs> there isn't, uh, and I could tell from this audience, I mean, this is, uh, again, uh, you are all outliers, exceptions to the rule, but there are a lot of people with long faces around you that, uh, that you haven't noticed, but uh, they really drag the average down uh, for New York. And we also know that people who care a lot about becoming rich tend to be less happy on average than those for whom you know, getting rich is less important. And we don't know how to reconcile all those, family, all those findings, so this very important element of our lives is still a bit of a mystery. Mm -hmm.